What, and it's interesting because you, what you guys are talking about, because I think when, what many people miss when they're looking at Bitcoin is that we're not just using energy and then we've just got this consumable, which is the case in most situations where you turn on your Christmas tree lights, you get some lights for a few moments and then you turn off the lights and cool, you've used up a bunch of energy. But Bitcoin is also an alternative energy source. So when you are using energy to obtain Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not the end consumable. You can then use Bitcoin to then go and purchase other things. And it is a store of that energy in the meantime to go and purchase other things. And I think uh, one of the resources that really enlightened me of this was um, the What is Money episode with Michael Saylor. And he describes how Bitcoin is essentially a battery. Given that the only way to obtain, say, money is to work and be remunerated uh, in the form of money, basically, we're expending time and energy to obtain money. We want to be able to store our time and energy in something so that we can then go and expend that time and energy at a future time and hopefully get paid or obtain something of equivalent value to the energy we expended. So in, in a sense, money is just a battery. And so Bitcoin, all it is, is taking this energy that has got no other use that Daz is talking about, storing it in a monetary asset so we can then go and use it at some other point in time. So it's not a consumable. And I think many people miss this point. We're not just burning Christmas tree lights for freaking 500 hours and we've got a nice show. 